Whiskey Bowl. I'm Dan. I'm Rex. He's a level three whiskey sommelier. He's a mooch. I am a whiskey mooch. This is. I'm actually really excited about this. I'm actually really. I'll, I'll go into all the reasons why. why. I know why. Yeah? Because. Because. Uh, it rewards all of your glee in industry disruption. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Yes, and. Yes, and. As a content creator, producer in mm. the whiskey niche, my God, does this industry move slowly? Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, well, man. when it takes when it takes you know four to thirty years to make your product, oh. you tend to move on that scale. Right. If there was like if it was more action packed and there's things happening, it's like, no, it's like, no, no, it's, because in a lot of the stories of Scott, for example, they'll be like, "We tried this new thing. What does it taste like?" Well, we'll know in about twelve years. Yeah. But so like when your kids are graduating high school. Yes. We'll have an idea yes. of whether or not this experiment worked. So, today we are reviewing <laughs> Glyph. Yes, now this is a gift. Daniel, my name is Joe, and I'm like uh, Tercot, for Rex to pronounce it correctly. Tercot. I am a recent Earl. Mm. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. I read about this whiskey being made, molecular whiskey, yep. and uh, would want you guys to give it a taste test. We can't do it blind, obviously. Yeah. Uh, thank you for all that you do. Blah 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 blah. Uh, thanks. Oh, and uh, stay magnificent. Oh, and the mooch too. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, <laughs> so the reason why this is kind of uh, unique and special, we haven't tasted it yet. We'll see if it's any good. This is whiskey from a lab. Yeah, lab made whiskey. Yeah. And uh, that's the... why on the front of the bottle it actually says spirit whiskey with natural flavors. Okay, so that right there. Spirit whiskey. Is that different than just whiskey? Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's a category. It's a category. Yeah. So they can't call it whiskey well, because they added all these flavorings and so it's things a to it. Whiskey. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Now their their main thing is the the lab grown flavors, the lab grown whiskey. This has been over the course of many years them refining a process. Yeah, I'll give you the whole I'll give you yeah, the whole okay. get, plan. Get it in the glass. Now do you want to give us the Joe first? Joe Turcotte? Joe, Joe, Tur he just, he, he, sh he sh on me. I no, he didn't. I don't know if I can say. Yeah, let me do it. Joe Turcotte, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> you pick up my slack and I get excited. Yeah, that's true. Get on it. All right. Now I like the bottle design. So, so it already it looks, it's pretty. It looks pretty light in the glass. Not a super dark whiskey. It smells sweet. more perfumey than it does. Get sweet and it apple. smells like a whiskey though. Sweet and apple. -y. Yeah, yeah, if you pour this for me blind, I would think, yeah, I'm smelling a whiskey. A little shiny. And I have to remember this wasn't aged in a barrel. Right. Because I was about to say but I was you about could to say, say you're getting barrel notes because they added those in chemically. I was about to say this smells like a young whiskey. Of course it's young. Yeah. They didn't age it in anything. So what are the characteristics of a young whiskey in your brain? And they're shiny? Kind of bright and effervescent instead of dark and mossy, right? Like a buttery apple cinnamon. Okay. But like the shiny, not deep, heavy, rich. I'm not getting a tremendous amount of depth and richness on the nose, but the flavors are there for sweet for a sweet whiskey. So what they do is they take a whiskey they're trying to replicate. They smell nicely, nicely balanced. And first they map the original spirit. Okay. They map the molecular structure, right. the chemical compounds, right. the mouthfeel, yeah. the sky, all the different things, right? Aromas, all of it. Right. Then, getting a little. They plump. gather those molecules from natural resources. So, like, for example, they say like plants and yeasts and stuff. They'll get esters found in fruit. Sugars from cane and corn, and acids and citrus and wood. So they're actually pulling the molecular contents out of those things, okay. right? And they're just duplicating those molecules somehow? Yep. Okay. No, no, they're actually taking the original. So they're, you're, you know you can actually map out the molecular structure of something. Yeah. Right? So they're doing that on a whiskey, and then they're going and finding those individual components and mixing them together mm -hmm. into a spirit. Did they Gattaca the whiskey? Yes. Oh. They Star trek it. What was that place you could get, like, instant alcohol and... Yeah. <laughs> Earl Grey. Yeah. Hot. Actually, somebody mentioned it, I think, at some point. I saw a comment somewhere. Okay, so the that. nose actually is really pleasant, really nice. Yeah, I haven't tasted it it's, yet. It's, it's, not, still... it's not uh, alien to what you would expect from an aged whiskey. But this is going to be um, candy sweet on the nose. This is 43%, so they're not necessarily going for 
you know, the lowest proof possible, no. the sweetest possible. There, it, it, you know smells what it smells like, like on the nose that they're actually going for, you know, a meaningful number of no uh, notes and nuance and complexity. It smells like a vanilla e blended scotch. A vanilla e blended scotch. Like, yeah, surely not. like a lot of grain spirit. You mean like space side? <laughs> hey, have you been hanging out with the secret spirits by any chance? Secret spirits. Yeah, the ones who made the advent calendar. Did you uh, ever fly over <laughs> and <laughs> I help them design them. a calendar? I convinced them. Just put nothing but space side. Daniel will love it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going in for the first sip. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. So what I'm getting. Some brightness, some shininess, mm -hmm. a total lack of depth and richness, though. Yeah, it's flat. It tastes, uh, that's the best description that I can taste this. Yeah. There's nice flavors. Yes. Nothing is harsh, nothing is dissonant. Right. But it's flat. Flat, uh, and, and flat, lack of depth is how I'm describing it. Because uh, occasionally you'll get some, Thin. some notes, you'll get a flavor, you can just follow that trail. And it'll switch it up, it'll swell down, it'll evolve into something else. These flavors are immediate, they're front and center, and they don't they don't go anywhere, but the flavors aren't bad. No. I would say compared to other blended scotches. I would prefer the others. I would Even prefer some, some other cheap. blended scotches. But You know what it is? Hmm. You ever go to what? um you this ever is, This isn't a blended scotch, though. No. To be sure. This is lab grown. This is lab grown whiskey, San Francisco. You ever go to a um uh art gallery? Or a museum. Go to a museum, yeah. and you go see the original paintings with the thick oils and uh, like th depth to them. That paint because multiple paths, and yeah. you can see the brush strokes, yeah, and, yeah. and they're, they're of images you've seen your whole life, right? Right, like the Mona Lisa mm -hmm. or daisies, right, or these kinds of things, right? Yeah. And in person, your in reaction to it is, I thought I knew what I was going to see because I've seen this print a thousand times in my life. Yeah. But standing in front of it in a museum. It's got depth and vibrance mm -hmm. and a whole other level of richness, right? Right. This is like someone did, a, and then you go to the gift shop and you can get it in a rolled the, up poster, poster print. Yeah. yeah. This is like the poster print of, of whiskey. The Mona Lisa. <laughs> yeah. Whereas like the original, original real uh, aged whiskeys, they have all this depth and grit and character. So this one's the 2D super shiny. All the colors are there, but they're manufactured colors. As opposed to raw paint. So, I think they did well on making sure that there is, quote unquote, complexity. There's mm -hmm. multiple things happening in here. I yeah. don't think, at least right now, with the lab-grown whiskey process, you're going to have depth and richness to these flavors. Right now I'm getting candy sweetness yeah. with different flavors of candy playing with each other, but none of them go deep, rich, hard, uh, even vibrant. These are all kind of top level, shiny, bright, sweet flavors. Now, with that being said, I could think of a whole lot of people I know who would love to drink this well, and enjoy the taste. And I would say those people probably aren't uh, self described whiskey lovers. Mm -mm. I think people that have been around the block with a lot of different whiskeys, this would be an interesting novelty. But I think a lot of the stuff that you appreciate about whiskeys that come out of a barrel, uh, yeah, just that, that, um, flavor trail that you can follow. It doesn't it's really go there. anywhere right here. There's a little hint of what your brain would say with slight wood, but it's at the end and it makes it feel slightly sour bitter. Right? And um, the sour note is actually, remember uh, Green Apple Jolly Ranchers? Yeah. That's the, the yeah. momentary flash of Green Apple Jolly, Jolly Rancher on the finish. See, I was thinking at the end, I grew up around a mulberry tree. Mm -hmm. You ever have mulberries? No. They grow like blackberries, where you have a bunch of tiny little berry things in a cluster. Yeah, you know, um, I'm getting. You climb into a mulberry tree, and you get these really sweet mulberries. And every once in a while, you get ones a little underripe, right. and it went whoa, and it got really sour, but berry tasting. Right. That's what I'm getting. So, if we were going to say, what is this comparable to? I would say a really, really young, blended whiskey. But it's not as sharp and aggressively alcohol right. as no, a young blend. It doesn't hurt you. Right. Uh, but I would agree. It does taste kind of young, thin, and like it needs more So time. I'll say this. Is this an amazing whiskey that I look forward to drinking many, many, many times? No. No. Uh, is it the worst whiskey I ever had? No. no. <laughs> uh, 
do I think that for a first run at a quote unquote molecular whiskey, does it show promise for the future? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think it shows promise. I think right now it's a respectable first entry point, but it's nothing game changing at all. I would very much like to see uh, how far they can take their science within mm -hmm. the next few years. Yeah. Because not quite there yet. But really good on true. you for trying something so cool. Oh, oh, the fact that there's people in whiskey that are doing stuff that isn't just locked in tradition and the old way of doing things. Good on you. And uh, I look yeah. forward to seeing what happens next. All right. Yeah. Till tomorrow, Mayor. Crazy stay this side illegal. Uh, that's not the thing. Oh, wait! So You're still here with me, Rex. Daniel's so drunk on this 43%, throwing out the wrong toast. No, I was just kind of hoping I was alone again. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I'll fight for a friend. To steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.